What's going on guys? I am here. Today I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 2 commentary using the Famasi Moss as I start up and get that kill there. Mute all these fools. I hate people who talk on the mics, you know. Speaking of talking on the mics, did you hear about the Black Ops 2 stuff that was going on? So, back to Black Ops 2. David Vonderhaar basically said if we could get Black Ops 2 trending on the trailer date that he would give some important kind of information, you know. Some like little leaks, a little bit there, hints on what we can expect, and he said there'll be a mute all button except for your friends. Now, if anybody knows who plays Call of Duty, there are always going to be idiots who play Call of Duty. There's always the kids who don't know, that speak a different language. There's always going to be the kids that play random music in the background for some apparent reason. And on the PS3, I don't know if it's the PS3's fault or if it's the game's fault, the mics suck. Because in the Mono for 3 franchise, the mics weren't, bad, weren't good at all. Black Ops 1, the mics are a lot more manageable and easier to do dual comms and uh, live commentaries with them. It was just much better overall experience with the mic side. And what else? So, if anybody who's been watching Call of Duty trailers since Modern Warfare 2 would know at the end of the trailer, they usually have an Xbox logo. And this is the first video trailer that I haven't seen an Xbox logo. I went to look back at Modern Warfare 3's uh, first reveal trailer, Black Ops. It was only Xbox in the end. Now there's nothing. Could this be that the playing field has finally been evened out? As a Call of Duty player on the PS3, we've definitely been left out in the community. Especially when getting the maps worse uh, a lot late. You know, I've thought about it so many times just for picking up a Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 even. Uh... To just to play the maps on the right time, but now that I'm hearing that it's a possibility that we'll be getting on the same time as Xbox, this is perfect, you know, I've been, oh, you can't even, this is an amazing feeling, you know, because I remember I was at school the day E3 when they announced in Mono for 2 time that Xbox would be getting the maps a month early, oh, okay, if you guys don't know, PS3 is kind of the minority back in my day in my school and everybody had Xbox. Let's just say a lot of harassments were going on. I was ready to fight somebody that day. But Treyarch has finally, well it's not really Treyarch, it's just the contract has most likely ended out. And hopefully Microsoft, please, I am begging you, don't renew the contract. I want to play the game the same time as you. I have your console. That's You should be happy that I have your console. I don't want to play the, your console, but I have it. Give me a break, Activision and Microsoft. Just give me a break. What else, guys? So, you guys are probably wondering a lot about zombies. What is zombies doing right now? What can we expect about zombies? The truth is, we don't really know anything about zombies besides the fact that it's running on the multiplayer engine. And you guys, what does that mean, Cameron? Running on the multiplayer engine? What's the difference between the engine it's running on right now? So right now, in Black Ops 1 and World at War, the zombies engine is running on the single player engine, which is toned down because they want to use most of the space on the disc for the multiplayer side. And David Vondahar tweeted out it could amount to the double amount of the co-op players. So could this be possible 8-man zombie map? This is going to be crazy. I, they're going to have to make the maps huge to handle 8 people because 4 you can still handle like Shinonuma, no problem. That winter one, uh, I can't remember, it was on the ship with all those movie characters, no problem 4 players. With 8 people this is going to be insane. What do you guys think about having 8 people on a zombie map? It's pretty intense stuff if you know what I mean, you know. What else could they implement to zombies? Personally, I would like them to intervent. Uh, money trade system like they have in the Mono for 3 spec ops you can trade with your money with your partners and everything you know maybe you guys are uh, what $10 short to use the random box and he's built up enough windows that he can't get any more money from it you know what he's gonna do he's just gonna give you some money like this stuff is kinda gonna make the game better and better and personally Call of Duty is the cheapest game you could possibly buy I, I definitely get my money worth out of this game easily for sure Probably the most expensive game I've ever bought is like Need for Speed or like Battlefield 3. I just don't use it that much. Call of Duty, that's just an easy money. It's like a no-brainer. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. As this is your number one source for Black Ops 2 info related rumors. Hit the subscribe button up top, guys. Peace. Hope to see you again.